Good morning guys, it's Lindsay. We're at OKC and it's Partners in Policy Making week five, day one. Yesterday was exhausting, yesterday was homecoming. And me being the previous queen, I had to help with crowning. So right after that we headed here and then we didn't get in to OKC until like 11ish last night. So I'm super exhausted. I have no idea what we're doing today. It would be fun and interesting. I'll let you guys know, and I'll see you guys later. Love ya. Bye. Go. Hi guys, it's Lindsay. Partners in policy making week five, day two. Yesterday we had a lady come and speak to us about her journey. Her son has cerebral palsy, and she really spoke to the fact that People with disabilities have a choice. People with disabilities don't need others to speak for them. They can choose what they want in life. We also had um, people speak to us about sexuality and what it's like to be a person with disabilities and have sex. Um, that was very interesting um, as well. And I'm just very happy and very ex excited for today than I was yesterday because we are having a physical therapist come and speak to us. And I'm going to see if I can be her model um, because I deal with chronic pain. And I'm going to see if I can film some of the positions she puts me in for you guys and put them into this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you and bye. Hi guys, it's Lindsay here to film my final thoughts on Partners in Policy Making Week 5. If you hear an ice cream truck, the ice cream man is going around my neighborhood and he kind of creeps me yeah. <laughs> up. He does. But my Partners in Policy Making Week 5 all in all, I think we had a great week. We had really interesting speakers and really different perspectives. Uh, some of it I did not agree with, but that's okay. You're not going to agree with everyone's personal opinion. But they brought up really interesting points. And I'm so happy that they had speakers because it allowed us as a group, as an entire group, to really have a great conversation about what it's like to live in the disability world. And I don't feel like I live in the disability world because I'm around people outside of our disability community a lot. I work in a place to where I don't see a lot of people within the disability community. and. I do things like Night and Shine, for instance. If you don't know what that is, it's a prom for people with disabilities. And I do things like that to be around people in our community because I get a whole lot of people outside of our community with my daily job, with going out into the community. So I see a whole lot of people outside of our community. So I don't really get a whole lot of people inside of our community so that's one way for me to um, branch out into the disability community and yeah I'm all in all I was very happy this week and they brought up really interesting topics and I'm so happy that they did because it was good for all of us and I will see you guys in the next video I love you Bye.